Alright folks, Pitching Ace 88, we're back playing Torchlight. This game uh, is brought to you by Runic Games, released in 2009. It made a lot of uh, people's top 10 lists for best games of 2009, and I have never heard of it. Uh, I recorded two hours of it, but I had to scrap it all because I, w I was adding mods to the game, and it ended up crashing um, at a certain point when I tried to use the Town Portal, and I don't really want to do that. Uh, but it was such a fun game that I definitely want to record it. I definitely want to play through it. Uh, cool little art style. I like everything about it. So let's begin. So I was able to go through a lot of people, but because you're only playing, uh, because this is no mods, this is what you're, you're going to be the destroyer, the vanquisher, or the alchemist. To me, I'm going to be the destroyer because I'm not good with all the numbers and stuff to use all the spells. So I'm not a really big fan of that. I'm more of a hack and slash type guy. Uh, and of course we're going to be a dog. Why would you ever be a cat? Cats are stupid. I'll show you what the cat is. Oh, actually it's like a leopard. Okay, that's not bad. But we're still going with the dog. The dog is going to be... What's the name of the dog going to be? There you go. And then of course... Pitching ace. And let's begin this. Uh, oh, and then I, I also uh, was checking out... Uh, I played it on hard, and that seemed to be right for me. Not too difficult, but it presented a challenge later levels. Uh, normal, way too easy. I would never say go normal, especially if you've played video games before. So let's play hard. I have always been a wanderer. I have roamed these lands for as long as I can remember, but my blades always lead me back to conflict. When I heard of the evils befalling Torchlight, I returned from the wilderness. Tales of madness, townsfolk slain or missing, and a darkness rising from the deep. It was inevitable that I was drawn to this place. My blades would not be still. So I made the long journey. I arrived at sunset, and while things at first seemed simple, I did not know then the shadows I would face, and the terrible power gathering far below the surface. I would discover them in time. And let's begin. So welcome to the town of Torchlight. Explore the area by left clicking to move around. Visit the Denzians of the town to shop or find quests to perform. When you are ready, enter the mines to begin your journey. Okay, I will show tips. Um, now, there are a couple things I will definitely, uh, through this playthrough, um, after playing th through a little bit, that I'll definitely do better than, because <laughs> I was struggling in that first one. It was kind of funny to watch me. What but can let's I talk do to him. For you? But these monster attacks are disrupting my work. I am Vastman, a scholar of Ember. I traveled to Torchlight to study the vast supply of Ember below. But these creatures make it impossible to obtain the samples I need. Perhaps you have more courage than these miners. If you brave the tunnels and bring me a sample of gleaming ember, I will reward you. It should not be difficult. Look for the ember on the first floor of the mine. So that's always something that we need to do. Good to see ya. I cannot concentrate with these monsters about. If you have to combine combine treasures now, that guy is important. That guy I really uh, utilized his stuff. Um, inventory. No, I want my character list. I like to kind of remember I did the character list. Uh, character sheet. What is it? Skills. There we go. Skills. SMP, dual wheel. All equipment inflicts 80%. Now these are all, these are skill trees. These are pretty sweet. A soul rent a power thieves your foes. I gotta figure out which tree. I haven't even I haven't played as this guy. I played as another one with a whole new skill class. This one's a phantasm which attacks nearby foes. Ooh, I kinda like that. What's this? Enemies are slowed and sometimes interrupted. What's, what if we get down here to disrupt some armors? Berserker. Inactive. Blah, blah, blah. Fantastic stun. Increases the level of all offensive magic spells. Let's see. I might actually do the spectral thing. That thing looks pretty cool. Mastery. Oh, I like that. Yeah, I don't think they all have that. Yeah, I'm going with the Spectral. 
Okay, anyways, uh, this guy enchants items. We don't need to talk to him now. This one is a gem seller. She's really good. she's really nice. Uh, sell sell a bunch of, a bunch of your crap. Uh, this is a graveyard. Uh, probably comes into play a little bit later in the game. Oh, there are people that come there, but not yet, apparently. This guy sells general goods. Uh, we have 100 gold. What we want to actually do is grab a couple of, uh, as many identifies as you can. This is a unique thing in this game that I've played. And, uh, when you get items, a lot of them, they don't, you don't know what they are, so you have to use a scroll on them to figure out what they are. And what it does is it really increases their, uh, their potency uh, it allows you to kind of understand like you'd normally sell them for like 12 bucks but if you use the identify you can end up selling them for like hundreds because you know that they're like a special weapon this is a shared stash that you can do trade with multiple characters that make other characters that you have created uh, this one right here this is just your my stash so if, if I have if I get some items that I don't want to sell I can put them there help or stay out of the way Mana is low. There we go. Brink, over here. I can't hold them back much longer. You all right, Sil? Rest here a while. I'm going ahead to finish the job. All right. So what's up? It's no wonder Master Ulrich sent for my help. The Ember Mines are overrun with these creatures. His letter was urgent, but I had no idea how dire things had become. I am Syl, and that was my companion, Brink. We'd only just arrived in Torchlight, and it looks like we're going to need some help. You look capable, and I can pay you well. Please, catch up to Brink before he gets himself killed. You have okay. begun a new quest. A new quest? Awesome. Sounds good to me. So, we can go around the town too much, but the town really isn't that, uh... Isn't really that big, to be honest with you. Map in the upper left hand or upper right hand corner. Just a couple I've of arrived in Torchlight and began my exploration of the tunnels below. These mines are vast and aglow with ember. I've never seen so rich a vein. Miners labor to extract it and take no heed of my warnings. I cannot blame them. I too could not resist the pull of ember. This ember is the same as that which afflicts me. The taint within it resonates with the corruption in my bones. I can feel it so clearly now. Blight springs from the depths and flows up through the veins. To purge myself of this evil, I must find the source. Okay, sounds creepy. Uh, anything else I want to show you? Oh, the auto map, we can put it Oh, maybe that's all because of the mods, but you could have made it go in the middle, but, uh... So, uh... I'll kind of show you guys what I am doing right now. Left, left is my regular attack, the right one is my skill, which is my slash attack. Uh, you can assign it to different things. Uh, your mana goes down, but... You, you really kind of want to use your uh, your mana as best you can, but I really need my mana up. My mana sucks on him. But this is just definitely like a hack and slash type game. Uh, your oh your your uh, experience bar is on the bottom. You don't need keys. It doesn't seem like in this game. Sweet. 
You discovered a magical item. It is unidentified, which means that, yep, so this is what I was talking about. And I'll do this after I clear out the enemies here. You can have your dog go into mo aggressive, defensive, or passive. We'll, we'll put him in aggressive. Might as well. Foreman's tail, identify scroll. Spell summon zombies. Sweet. Sounds good. Okay, so we'll go into our inventory. Showcase this a little bit. Unidentified asked, axe. So if you right click this and then left click, it'll say that it's a slamming miner's pick. And he actually picked up a second weapon, which is good. We do want to dual wield him. Um, and you can put spells here. Might as well put it up there. Um, so what I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to use this as much my other time, but this time I think I'll, I'll like, I'll plant some, ooh, some zombies, sweet. Cool. This would be pretty helpful. And I always look, kind of look around after you kill enemies in case they drop anything. If you are using your, you know, your special, like anything, just try and try and get in the middle of the group so you're, it's most effective. Uh, I'm looking at the map, trying to figure out where this is where I want to go. Nice. Oh, like this right here. Boom. Okay, I got a leather helm. You can wait and regain health if you want. A town portal scroll, that's gonna be important. Okay, now we could we can leave. We'll let we'll let Dave do his thing. Okay. So that's the that's the that's the exit to the next level, but we're not gonna go there just yet. We will be going through this door. Glowing Ember, perfect. So you we've have completed, completed a quest. A task. Use a town portal scroll to return directly to Torchlight, and we will be doing that for sure. But I would like to gain a level first. Yep, here we go. So I can showcase that a little bit. Mana potion, mana potion. Yeah, there's not going to really be anything here, but there's skill points, and then there's stat points. So, uh, our main... What my main thing is going to be, uh, first, is to get my damage up. Uh, you will get fame, but fame is when you defeat, like, bigger enemies and complete quests. Uh, spectral... Someone's a fantastic... Or do I want the slash attack? I always like the slash attack, though. Improves the damage of all weapons when dual wielding. I like that one too. I'm actually gonna do that. Okay, never mind. I changed my mind. I'm allowed to do it. Um, and then like Dave, this is a pet. He can actually carry stuff for us. Uh, we can place amulets or ring, and we can drag a spell for him to learn. Uh, and then he actually gains experience as well. And we'll all showcase the town portal because we do want to head back to town because it's like every time you complete a quest, they'll give you a new quest. But we might as well, we're at full health, we might as well go down to the next level, take out a bunch of monsters and continue from there. Like these guys. Now these are going to be bigger enemies, right here. Barbalins or... Uh oh, Dave, you're struggling, your pet is fleeing. Is hurt. There we go. How do you, 
Oh, he went around. Okay. Now, see, at this point, let's pick up some gold. What I'm doing right here is basically just kind of cl clicking on the mouse and kind of just dragging it around. See, at this point, what, what we'll do is we'll create a portal. And right click. Let's return to town. Town. I thought that's a big thing, but it, it is kind of a big thing. We can't do it for a little bit. Uh, let's go to go to him. I see you found the gleaming ember. I hope it wasn't too much. Well, here's your reward. A lot of experience. Fame was good. Uh, and then we can come back to him, and he says, "Is." It, uh, essence of magnet and it assumes aspects of its environment. That is why ember from different locations can appear and behave completely differently. I've heard a vast ne necropolis buried below the mines. Death place ember can sometimes be found in such places. Studying a rare type. So a mysterious map scroll. So it'll open places to lost dungeons. Oh, hello. So you, you can put four in here and then he'll transmute them bye for bye. you. Uh, what we are going to do is... Okay, we have a pretty decent amount of gold. Uh, we will go to oh, him. Hello. And then in these things, they'll carry 20 of them, and then they'll have to pick up another slot. I'm stocking up on these because I didn't do it before, and it is nice when you're out uh, in the world to be able to uh, stock up on them. And there's going to be ways for Good us to make a lot more money. Uh, oh, this guy. I'm the Bard Trill. Perhaps you've heard of me, no? That's the problem, really. Despite my astonishing talent, word of my ascendancy has not yet spread among the masses. My ability is beyond question, but perhaps I've not yet found a tale truly worth telling. Perhaps your heroic deeds will inspire me. A beast known as Varkasir has been emerging at night to prowl about with a torchlight. He is said to be a bat-like creature with great power. His lair is said to be on the third floor of the mine. Slay him, and I will mortalize your battle in verse. So he'll give us... Uh, wow, pretty good uh, armor. You have gained... So town portals, always make sure you have one, basically, so that you can get back, but you'll, you'll get them from enemies. It's not too much of a challenge, I don't believe. Uh-oh. Moldy staff. That's not good. Uh, let's right-click. There we go, there's a health potion. Is he not gain health back? That sucks. health back then I need to uh, need to find a skill that does oh, there's town portal scroll scroll told you did still send you after me she must have thought I was in over my head again well she's right these monsters yes. are getting stronger and I could use your help I'm going after the fiend that was attacking Syl on the bridge. Will you join me? Of course we will. Get him, get him, zombies. Okay. And, oh, let me look at the map. Okay, my health is low. Um, 
And I don't have a lot of health potions. Something I'm noticing right now is that they've the dungeons will change because these are this is not the same layout that I'm used to. and all that, all that jazz, so again, defense goes up, and dual wielding will go up so we can do more damage, that'll get our strength, uh, Dave, uh, can you level up, okay, let's look at our inventory, Critical chance, 25 damage. Hand pistol, one handed, 30 damage per second. Pickaxe. Uh, and so there are some requirements on them. Okay, that looks kind of an interesting setup. We'll see how that works. Oh, by the way, didn't I have some armor? No? Oh, you know what happens is, watch, I'm, I'm wearing it. Yeah, see, I'm, oh, if, if you don't have anything equipped, it'll, it'll equip some of the armor for you. Yeah, the enemies here are random, too. Ouch. Health potion sweep. Two hundred seventy-two fame. Crush buckler. Identify scroll. Sweet. Okay. Oh, see now this is good. That's pretty nice. 
fire resistance, 2% increased gold find armor. Oh, that's just a two-handed blade. Zombies seem to give me some life, which is nice. Other sash. Oh my gosh. Oh dear. Ow. Has been Stupid. Oh my gosh. Thanks guys. What the hell are you doing, Brink? doing? Uh oh, so I'm slow down. Oh, just because of that one enemy he decided to ditch me. doing lots of glancing blows, you probably need to upgrade your weapons. Okay. That is good to know. Glancing blows. Wow. They're gonna ambush me, I know it. Yep. Wow. The weapons are not that strong. We need just one more death. Yeah, love that. Wow, man. That was ridiculous. Okay, good. So we got this. Definitely. What 
is this? Is that, what, are we, what is this? Gloves. Holy crap, those are gloves. Um, leather helmet. Oh, look at that. See, now I can increase my helmet. Fast caster speed. No, I don't need that. 